Hey everyone, so here's a do-it-yourself um, protein skimmer, all done, and uh, it is in testing phase. And the test, I will tell you, I have passed. Alright, so, um, if you've seen my tank, uh, sorry uh, guys, I'm just rebuilding everything. I've been using tap water for the reef tank for the longest time, you know what. Uh, as people say, RODI water all the way, so, um, I mean, that will be a next video, I have my... RODI system um, set up now so in about a week to two weeks I'll set up a new video on that but this is just a test on the protein skimmer once again um, I am gonna just shut off I'm gonna stop the bubbles for a little bit just to show you guys what's happening on the inside and how I set the system up I'm looking at the top as you can see the bubbles do form all right and it is taking out uh, it's, uh, most of the gunk. I mean, my tank is pretty clean for now. But um, I just added some Macy's uh, water in there while I was feeding my fishes. Took the water, put it inside the, the, the protein skimmer just to show me um, how much junk it would come out. But uh, this is the whole layout. So you have the one inch pipe right to the bottom. Okay, that's just to minimize all the bubbles getting into it. And from the pump, as you can see there, it goes up make an L shape 90 degrees back down and it shoots off uh, reason why I left it halfway is because when the bubbles do appear and at first I didn't have the 90 degree elbow I actually had it coming down what happened was there was a lot of bubbles being sucked up um, into the the outlet there and uh, going back into the tank but um, one one suggestion I would make for you guys who wanna do this project at home is I would add a uh, five and uh, five point seven five inch uh, round disc inside the bottom. That's to prevent the bubbles coming down and hitting and uh, being sucked up from the uh, the output there. Just so you don't have nothing coming back into the tank, as you can see, that's what's happening now. But that's I mean I'm not too worried about it for now. It's okay. But uh, here you go. That's just the stuff uh, in works right now. My tank is once again. It is pretty clean. Um, I will put another video up to show you how it looks in my friend's tank. There you go. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry, right, let me take a better view from here. Right, there you go. All right. So as you can see, it is forming pretty well. I am very very happy with this unit. A lot of hard work behind of it. And uh, I'm just going to show you exactly the controlling aspect of it. So this is going to be valves 100% open. And there you go, straight ahead. And the water level will come down to about there. Okay, I'm going to close it up slowly, slowly. Raise it back up. There we go. Now, <clears throat> it just depends how much nutrients uh, you have in your tank that you want to remove. You would have to set the protein skimmer according to that because um, what I found is uh, when you have less nutrients in the tank, you have to keep the valve a little close to have the bubbles come up a little higher because um, it's just fine skimming it. But when you have a lot of nutrients in your tank and you don't have a protein skimmer and you have been running your tank for a couple months and you decide to get one, I would suggest you drop your water level all the way down to the minimal, see how it does for a day and then gradually raise it up, I would say an inch per day just to show you exactly how it is. But yep, there you go, as you can see that is a 48, 48 uh, length on the tank there, it's a 75 gallons, 48 inches in length it just shows you how big this protein skimmer is god that's gonna suck everything out of the tank but I hope you guys uh, like the whole process of parts one and two uh, do continue with me there will be a next video on a do-it-yourself sump slash refugium but yeah guys there you go
A lot of gun coming out. The top view. Uh, sorry, uh, one more thing. I, this is a small pump, it's just 20 watts. Um, I think for my future I would suggest buying a much bigger pump than uh, the 20 watt. Just to have more air to water ratio. Uh, the more bubbles, obviously the more better. Now, I don't know, I'm going to see how this uh, how the system goes in my friend's tank for about a month. I don't know if I want to add a, a bubble stone to it or air stone. Or maybe he just wants to upgrade and just get a bigger pump to have more bubbles in there. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it does a pretty put the job pretty well. That's the inlet. Alright guys, cheers, have a good day. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and be tuned to uh, follow in for the future episodes on more do-it-yourself projects. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, inbox me on my Facebook. Uh, not my Facebook, I'm sorry. My YouTube. And uh, if there's any questions, I'll be more than glad to answer them for you guys. Have a wonderful day, and a happy new year for a new uh, 2013. Uh, this is a perfect project for 2013. Alright, cheers. Happy New Year once again, guys. Bye-bye.